Hi, this is Edmund from Sports Trading AI. So today is the 20th of January. Okay, uh, 2020. Uh, let's take a look at the uh, matchup between this uh, San Praia, San Hilar versus uh, Monaco. Okay, so basically this was a uh, really a night of um, of Titanic matches. Huh? Early on, we had this uh, Young IX. Uh, the water money was around 79 cents so in this match the water money was 67 cents okay so uh, let's take a look at this huh? okay so basically opening handicap was uh, plus 1.75 goals opening odds was uh, 1.90 and then subsequently went up to 2.00 and then it transitioned to plus 2 ball handicap 1.81 odds it went up to all the way to 2.05 odds okay uh, then went to uh, plus 2.25 handicap at 1.82 odds went all the way up to uh, 2.05 and then uh, went to uh, transition to plus 2.5 handicap uh, 1.81 odds uh, went up all the way to 1.88 so basically uh, I just want to highlight that the odds movement and the odds um, Odds movement is actually a very very important aspect of uh, of this uh, sports betting, right? Because uh, in Asia, we understand that the odds movement has got to do with the market consensus. Meaning, the reason why the odds actually went up uh, for this uh, scenario is that there were a lot of people betting on Monaco, right? But then, a lot of this. Um, Traders, uh, they are from UK or US or, or Europe or you know Australia, etc. Because they don't understand the the mechanism or the fundamentals of this uh, odds movement, right? So they, in their mind, they are thinking that the odds is actually moving because the the bookmakers is trying to entice people uh, to bet by actually uh, adjusting the odds, right? Uh, in a way it's true but then the most most important thing is the the bookmakers are trying to balance the bets right uh, but what happened is the actual thing that is actually triggering the odds movement is actually the market consensus the number of uh, tickets on us on a specific team right so basically like a uh, let me just give you a, a, a new uh, tip for this uh, scenarios huh? so basically for for this uh, particular match, Sampra versus uh, this Monaco. So Sampra is actually from the from the uh, France uh, Division Four, and then they are ranked number ten, right? And that's that's why their league ranking over here you can see is seventy, and then this uh, Monaco is actually ranked number nine. So <clears throat> normally these kind of games, right? The, if they are too far apart, the bookmakers wouldn't really open the the handicap. Right, I mean, wouldn't open the the match for betting, right? So when they are opening this kind of matches for betting, uh, all you need to do is you try to follow the the odds movement, right? Uh, as well as the opening odds, right? Uh, and then basically, uh, let's l take a look at this uh, particular matchup, right? So uh, in terms of banker bet statistics, the opening odds was in favor of the home team, odds movement in favor of home team, uh, because this was a plus 2.5 handicap, uh, the formula was a strong away win, likely to win by two goals, that's why we took uh, the advantage was for the home team, and then for this uh, goal scoring average, both teams actually scored five goals in the past, uh, three home and away matches both teams also scored three goals in the past home and away matches so things are pretty even and then if you take a look at the matchup it was a win versus a draw right so basically uh, of course when we bet this match there was a bit of scare because the uh, first half uh, the result was 0-3 but then this uh, Sam Prime managed to score one goal right so it's a uh, 1-3 so basically it's like uh, the result you know, a lot of people don't believe in uh, match fixing and all those things, but I can tell you that uh, it actually does exist, right? So, um, when you actually go through uh, the matches and then you notice that, why is it that all the time when 
when the odds movement is in favor of uh, the underdog, the underdog team will win, right? So for one game or two games, you might think that it's a coincidence, but when it happens like almost like eighty percent of the time, you know that the 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 matches are, are probably like uh, being manipulated in a certain way, right? But of course, more importantly, we don't just uh, base the we take on the the match. Uh, we support a team not just by the odds movement and the market consensus, but more importantly, we make sure that the formula supports it, and then the goal difference, uh, goal scoring average also supports it, and and uh, as well as the other other factors, right? Uh, like head to head. But for this this uh, situation, there wasn't a previous uh, prior head to head meeting between the both teams. So like cup games, uh, uh, even. If it's a draw game, Monaco can always like um, replay the match and play at home, right? Or go into extra time or penalty. So there's a lot of uh, uh, room for maneuvering, right? So basically, they they could easily win by one goal or two goals, you know. And then those people who actually bet on Monaco loses a handicap, but then Monaco still goes through the match, right? So if you enjoyed this video, kindly subscribe to the channel to find out more about the tip results. As well as track records, can you scroll down to the links below or visit our website at www.sportstradingai.com. Thank you. Bye-bye.